Please welcome to the stage, Raven Gregory! Yo, yo, yo! God, look at you guys, looking beautiful. Came out tonight, got dressed up. Does it feel nice when you go out in public, start getting compliments and shit? I recently started experiencing this for the first time. This last month, I have officially lost 150 pounds. I started doing crazy shit, start buying shirts too tight. This is my first XL shirt. Am I pulling it off, guys? What do you think? Now, just so you know, there's a little fat kid inside me that's like, you lying motherfuckers. You being nice. I know I look like somebody poured an ocean in a t-shirt. But then there's the raven that saw, looked down last week. Last week I looked down and I saw something I haven't seen in a long time. And then I saw her face, now I'm a believer. But it's wild, man. So since I started like getting all these compliment shits, it's addicting. I started doing stuff like going hiking. For those of you who don't go hiking in Arizona, I just want to let you know, when you go hiking, everything in Arizona is trying to kill you. Everything. But if you make it to the top, if you get all the way to the top of the mountain, that view makes it all worth it. It's so beautiful. It's so peaceful. I have never made it to the top. That shit is way too fucking difficult. So what I started to do is I started going to the gym. And true story, for the first time in my life, I was sexually harassed at the gym. Guys, any of you guys ever been sexually harassed? All right, ladies, any of the guys who didn't say anything next to you, lean over, whisper something dirty in the air, make them feel bad, sexually harass their ass. But yeah, man, I'm at the gym and I'm taking a shower and I go, you know, I'm going and drying my shorts off and I turn around and right where you're sitting, sir, there's a man looking me up and down, licking his lips. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is naked. This, this is naked. I was just turned around, ass was hanging out, butt naked and shit, looking at me up and down, licking his lips, mm, mm. Looking good. I'm like, what the fuck? But the guy had Down syndrome. So I have to be considerate of this guy's feelings because obviously this is what people with Down syndromes are into. So I fucked him. I'm just joking, I ain't fucking. We are dating though, it's going well. So I've been doing comedy for about eight months now and you guys are literally the best audience I've ever performed in front. I appreciate each and one of you. I think you guys should get to tell a joke tonight. You guys wanna tell a joke tonight? You guys wanna tell a joke? Have everybody in the audience laugh. You guys get to know what it feels like to be a comedian? There you go. All right, you guys all know this joke. You gotta come with it, play along, ready? Knock, knock. Okay, you guys gotta bring it. I need your energy, ready? Here we go, knock, knock. Who's there? Nigga! Nigga! <laughs> okay, okay. I saw some black people looking around there like, you sure you wanna tell this joke here? It's safe guys, this isn't Cave Creek. Yeah, you can't tell that joke in Cave Creek. I saw some of the white people looking around, they were like, mm-mm, mm-mm, I ain't falling for that shit. And then I saw a couple white people, they were like, why is this Mexican up there saying nigga? That was dope. So before I get out of here, I wanna leave you a little piece of knowledge. I suffer from depression and anxiety. I've actually suffered from depression and anxiety my whole life. Started doing comedy, all that shit went away. So I did a little bit of research I found out what it was. I found out what cured all my shit. Did you guys all know that a hard laugh, a hard laugh is the chemical equivalent of a powerful orgasm? Did you guys know that? Did you know that? So fuck a comedian and keep on coming. I'm Raven Gregory, thank you. Hope that's water. Keep it going, Gregory. Gregory, everybody.